In this lesson, we're going to be taking a look at a special type of technical drawing view called a section view. For some objects, standard orthographic and pictorial views can't show all of the details needed to manufacture the part. Additional views might be needed to show special features. One of these special drawing views is called a section view. Section views slice away part of the object to show us interior details that can't be seen from the outside. They can be used in orthographic drawings or pictorials. Usually, the hidden internal features of an object would appear as hidden lines in orthographic views, but it would be against the rules of dimensioning to dimension to those hidden lines. By removing the surface of the object with a section view, we can get a direct look at those various features and edges, and we can dimension to them accurately. A section view shows us an object as if it were cut in half. The location of the cut is indicated by a cutting plane line on another drawing view. Cutting plane lines show us where the object was cut to create the section view. They are thick, bold lines with a two-dash pattern repeated every so often. Arrowheads on the ends of a cutting plane line point in the direction that the object is viewed in the section view. Letters on the cutting plane line match letters on the section view it creates, which helps prevent mixing up views when multiple section views are created in the same drawing. These lines take precedence over all other lines on the page, so if they happen to fall in the same spot as an object line, the cutting plane line is what is seen and the object line falls behind. There are several different types of section views that we'll be looking at in this lesson, including full sections, half sections, offset sections, broken out sections, and revolved sections. We'll also see how section views can be used for assemblies as well as individual parts. In a full section, the cutting plane line passes all the way through the object. The portion of the object behind the arrowheads is removed, and the cut object is seen in the direction of the arrowheads. Let's see an example. Imagine that the part is cut at the cutting plane line, and the portion opposite from the arrowheads is removed. If we look at the object in the direction of the arrowheads, we would see this section view. The hatched areas use lines called section lines to indicate where solid material was cut to create the view. The areas without section lines were hollow and do not show section lines. Normal object lines representing edges still appear, but hidden lines representing invisible edges do not. A half section is typically used on symmetrical parts where it is beneficial to show internal and external details in a single drawing view. The cutting plane line cuts halfway through the part cutting away only one quarter of the object. A single arrowhead is used to indicate the direction of view. The section view appears much like a right side orthographic view, except that the lower quarter of the object is removed to show the internal details. This allows for all of the parts dimensions to be shown with only two drawing views instead of a front, a right, and a full section view. Offset sections show multiple interior features in a single section view, even if the features don't line up with each other on the object. The cutting plane line changes direction as it travels through the part, slicing through the center of key features that would each need their own section view otherwise. The resulting section view isn't made from one straight cut, but from a strategic offset path created by the cutting plane line. This eliminates the need for several cutting plane lines and section views for a single part. Section lines indicate where the solid material of an object has been cut to reveal a section view. These are thin, angled, parallel lines. They should not be drawn parallel or perpendicular to any of the object edges that they meet, and the same angle and spacing should be used throughout a piece of material, even when the cut areas are disconnected by non-cut areas. Sometimes it's useful to show section view details without drawing an entirely new view. Broken out sections allow us to do this by peeling back a portion of the object's surface to reveal details underneath. 
Instead of a cutting plane line in another view, the cut area is defined by a jagged, short break line. Broken out sections allow dimensions to be placed on the surface of an object as well as to hidden features further back. Another way to show sectional details without creating a totally separate drawing view is to use a revolved section. In this example, a long object with a noteworthy cross-sectional shape is sliced on a plane along its length. The object is revolved in this location to show its cross-sectional details in line with the drawing view instead of as a separate view elsewhere on the page. Section views can be very useful for revealing the details of an assembly where some parts are hidden inside others. When section views are used this way, it is important to use different patterns and angles of section lines on different parts to clearly distinguish between them. Section views are a common tool used in architectural drawings to reveal interior spaces or elaborate construction details. In this application, there is a wide variety of patterns used to represent different building materials. So a reader might need to rely on a legend on the drawing to distinguish between concrete, dirt, wood, fiberglass insulation, stone, and other materials sliced in the section view. Now that you know the basics, try to create some section views of your own. Look back at the lesson anytime if you need some help. You can also check out my video on creating section views in Autodesk Inventor, which will walk you through the process in CAD. Thanks for watching. Good luck.